It's Dr. Miller. We're going to show you step by step how to do the micro lift. The first thing we're going to do is have the patient hold the mirror and say what orientation or vector they like the lift. And in her case, we sort of already started here, but go ahead and show me how you like it. She likes it just like that. Right. So I'm going to put a little dot. It was, do it again. It was like this. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put a little dot right here, let it drop, put another dot, and that's how I got that line. So I pull it up, put a dot, drop it, put another dot, connect the two lines. And then I'm going to take that line and I'm just going to extend it right into her hair, right in here. Okay, and I did the same thing on the other side. Now I'm going to follow that so that we follow this line straight up into her um, temporal area, like that. And then we're going to make a perp, we're just going to go perpendicular like this. So we're perpendicular to that line to create the incision line that we're going to do, which is going to be basically this incision line right here. We don't want it to come out of the hair down here. We want to keep it in the hair and we're far enough away from the um, course of the frontal branch. So this is where we're going to enter. Now with the hair split, we're going to just one, two, three. We're going to make a little injection right here and come up, staying subcutaneous. You okay, sweetie? Mm -hmm. And we're just doing a nice subcutaneous injection here because all we're going to be doing is making an incision through the skin, through dermis, and the moment we start seeing the fat, we're going to stop, and now we're going to do some blunt dissection because we want to be right between the fat and the temporal parietal fascia. You don't even want to see temporal parietal fascia. I'm going to numb a little bit more inferiorly now. You're going to feel this a little bit as I come down here. In April, you can go ahead and record this. I'm just injecting a little inferiorly here. You okay, honey? Mm -hmm. Good. And we had drawn the two lines right here and here. We're going to follow that directly into the hairline. We're going to take the Q-tip that we had to expose that as it goes in here. Then we're going to go perpendicular to that roughly right around here. Pick up the hair and create a nice line that is perpendicular to that line but staying within the hair bearing skin doesn't have to be. You can make an incision that goes in front like this, but uh, patients ask me repeatedly, hey, can you do this within the hair so I don't even have that? And, and I started doing it and it worked. So let's just come here and that'll be nicely perpendicular. Roughly the same line. And that's what, that's around uh, maybe three centimeters. That's around it. So here it is. We're going to go ahead and make the incision. Tell me, tell me if you feel anything. Okay. And then we're just going to break their dab. So after making the incision, I want to be just underneath the subcutaneous tissue here. And I want to see this glistening temporal parietal fascia down. And I'm going to use vertical spreading to make sure that that remains down. And, you know, yeah, I'll just sort of encourage it with a little bit of this. But I want to leave all of that tissue down here as I elevate and stay just in the subcutaneous plane. Now, I'm still posterior to the course of the marginal mandibular. I'm sorry, I'm still posterior to the branch of the temporal, okay? But in so elevating this, okay, you can see now that if I grab deeply, nothing really moves. But if I grab superficially, I can get a tremendous amount of movement of the face. And it will vary depending upon the patient. In her, she gets really nice movement here, a little less so over here. But you still get movement in the mid face and even in this region, right down along the entire jaw. Grabbing the superficial layer, and you can see the kind of elevation that you can get here. Now, if I were to grab down too far, it won't get movement at all, but I can get some really nice elevation from here to here. 
by grabbing the superficial layer of this mass. Okay. After you determine the location for the best movement, you put a mark, so now we're gonna grab that tissue and just advance it in a plication fashion. So you can see right here, I'm gonna grab this superficial layer Right here, you can see how it moves. I'm gonna grab just the superficial part of it, right there. And then just form a plication, little bit cephalic to that. Horizontal mattress in this case, the other ones were vertical. And this is a 3-0 ethabond. I like it because it does slide. It's braided, but it slides, but then it also fixates very, very well. Then it's just closed. I put one 4-0 monochrome deep, and then I run it with a 7-0 vicro. And then that's it.